Oh, don't get too scared. <laughs> it's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review The Crow. Before I review The Crow though, my guest stars Rokan Alzir and WWE Fan0599 are going to review this film. So you two, take it away. Tony, my man, thanks uh, for having me here. If you guys don't know, my name is Rokan Alzir for RA's Movie Reviews as my YouTube channel calls it. And I have the good fortune of reviewing um, a movie I watch around Halloween and, and you know, life in general. Um, and I'm the type of dude that watches a lot of sort of dark movies or scarier movies during Halloween, especially now it's just the horror movies have gotten a little bit more better. But um, for me, I decided I wanted to do The Crow. Now, The Crow is a movie that came out in 1994, so it's as old as me, uh, which is 20 years old, which is 20 years old, and... Um, it stars Brandon Lee and directed by Alex Proyas, who did um, I, Robot, and he did Dark City, and so forth. And the whole, you know, story about the movie is that it's about this rock musician named Eric Draven, who's play played by Brandon Lee. And basically, one night, you know, he and his girlfriend are attacked, and they are, they're killed, but there's, like, this sort of, like, legend that Crow will resurrect someone to seek out, sort of, vengeance on on the person that was done wrong, which is God's way of saying, you know, God's way of saying it's okay to do vengeance and all that cool shit. So, uh, yeah, The Crow, I think, is a really, really good sort of Halloween movie, because A, the movie takes place on October 30th, which is known as Devil's Night. It has such a dark and bleak and gothic tone, you know what I mean? Which, it's funny, anytime I'll, I'll listen, I'll hear someone, like, talk about a movie, and they'll be like, oh, that movie was dark, it was, wasn't that movie dark? And I'm just like, was it like The Crow dark? They're like, well, no. Then I'm like, well, it's not dark. Because I feel like The Crow is like the perfect definition of a dark movie because the atmosphere is so dark. There's like not, there's not even a scene of, in daytime. I feel like there's like, there's only like one scene that takes place in the day and the rest of the movie is just like takes place in the dark. It's got like, also this like really sort of dark, grungy um, soundtrack. You know, it's got like Nine Inch Nails and Stone Temple Pilots and so forth. So, you know, it, it definitely has the atmosphere going. And... Just the fact that, you know, this movie really came out at the time where, like, the goth scene was really huge. So, I think that's why this movie works so well. It, with, it works so well, you know what I mean? And Brandon Lee kills it as um, Eric Draven. I mean, this was the performance of his career because it was the last performance he did because, unfortunately, um, he passed away during the making of the movie. And it's such a tragedy because he left behind such an incredible performance, you know what I mean? He was so good. As Eric, as Eric Draven, you know, I mean, he's he's tortured, he's, you know, he's angry, he's sad, but at the same time, there's a bit of sarcasm and fun to him, which I, which I think is, is great, you know what I mean? And just like the whole, just this whole movie, like, it could have worked had, you know, Brandon Lee not been cast as the Crow, he's just phenomenal in this movie. Some criticisms I will say is that at times the movie gets a little too 90s um, for me, especially with the bad guys, the bad guys are this, this like group of gangsters and they're all saying things like fire it up, fire it up, you know what I mean? And um, it's fun, in fact I always bother my friends with that, I always go fire it up, you know what I mean? But it does get a little corny after a while, but it's it's still such a good movie. Um, yeah, I recommend, if you haven't seen The Crow, check it out man, it's, it's, such, a, it's such a good movie, I love the hell out of it, I watch it every Halloween and like I said, in life, if I'm bored, I'm just like, I think I'll watch The Crow today, I haven't seen this in a while. And I'll watch it, I'm just be like, I should be watching this more and more, because it's good. You know what I mean? But, I think The Crow, but yeah, I'd say check The Crow out. I'm gonna give The Crow a, an A-. minus. I think it's such a good movie, check it out when you can. So, that's my two cents on The Crow. Hey, what is up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here. And today we're going to review The Crow. I'm honored to be on 22 Tiger Dudes channel reviewing The Crow with you guys, so here we go. Let's review it. So what did I think of The Crow? This movie's fantastic. I love The Crow. It, to me, it's a fantastic movie. I just re I just love The Crow. It is an uh, amazing movie. So let's get into the positives. The positives are Brandon Lee as The Crow. He is phenomenal. He is amazing in The Crow. 
he, he's just fantastic in this movie, and, you know, he gives one of the best performances by an actor, in my opinion. He really is fantastic in this movie, and also, to me, the best portrayal we've seen of a superhero in a movie so far. That's, that's just my opinion. He's just phenomenal in this movie. So sad that he's no longer with us. He was, he was fantastic in this movie. Uh, Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson was pretty good in the movie, too. Most of the acting in this movie is good. Um, so, yeah. The acting's good in this movie. Um, visually, the visuals look great as well in this movie, you know? Like, this movie doesn't really take place in, like, the morning. It really takes place at night. There's only, like, one scene that takes place in the morning. I like that. I like that. It's mostly taking part at, taking place at night. And by the way, when they, like, have to use CGI and stuff and use stunt doubles for Brandon Lee because he didn't finish some of the stuff before he passed away, I can't tell which ones is the CGI and him actually doing it because it looks so real and I love, I love that it just looks so real and it's fantastic. I can't really come up with a negative for this movie. Oh, really quick, another positive, the music, the music's great in this movie, too. Um, I can't really think of a negative for this movie, so yeah. So it's time to give my official grade on The Crow, and my official grade on The Crow is an A+. I love The Crow, it's a fantastic movie, in my opinion, one of my favorite movies of all time. It's great, so it's getting an A+. So what do you guys think of The Crow? Leave in the comment section below, and I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we will see you all later. Peace. Thank you so much, Rokan Alzir and WWE Fan 0599. And I also gotta thank WWE Fan 0599 because it was his idea for me to see The Crow and review it as part of my Halloween Reviews Month. So it's also great that he's here in this review to be the guest star. I was never familiar with The Crow was I just watched this movie very blind not knowing at all what it was about and then I watched this movie and I gotta say it's one of the best movies I've ever seen I loved The Crow this is an awesome movie all across the border it is so well written it looks so beautiful cinematography is just absolutely fantastic this movie in my opinion has no flaws now i know when you guys look at the poster and all that you're gonna say oh it's a horror film but no it's not a horror film it's an action fantasy movies brandon lee as eric draven slash the crow is amazing here this gentleman does such a great job unfortunately this was brandon lee's final movie because he actually died on the set of making the crow so it really is such a tragedy to see this gentleman actually die from making this movie but i gotta say for this being his final film in his career he really went all out and for him to be this committed to a role really shows the type of actor that he really is he was tremendous as the crow the way the character acts especially when he's getting revenge on all these villains he's really intimidating he has that kind of sarcastic tone to it and when you see him get revenge on all of these guys because of what they did that one year ago with him and his love it's really horrible what they've done so it's all like when you see the crow come back to life and getting revenge on all of these horrible people you're just rooting yes the crow there's a little girl named Sarah and he really does care for the little girl and it was someone that the little girl was very close to so when you see him and Sarah it's really cool to see or when you see him with this police officer played by Ernie Hudson he really does care but he he is very damaged because of what happened. It drives him to get revenge on everyone. I cared about the little girl. I thought the actress who played the little girl, Sarah, she did really good. Ernie Hudson as the police officer was really good. There was no bad performance, to be honest. The characters are really interesting, but I think that's because it's the actors and the script that makes the overall movie interesting. I thought The Crow was a fan. 
fantastic movie. I'm serious. This movie is fucking awesome. Performances are great. Action sequences are badass. The storyline is great. It's so well directed. It looks so beautiful. And if you're in the mood for an action movie, especially around the Halloween season, The Crow is like the perfect movie to watch around this time. The Crow, without a doubt, gets four out of four stars from me. It is a great movie. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It is just... Wow, it's awesome. I just want to say thank you very much to Rokan Alzir and WWE Fan for reviewing The Crow with me. These two guys are awesome and please check out their channels. I will leave a link to their channels in the description below.